I would not say we're doing great, but we're doing really well in the market. And one of the reasons why we're doing well is we changed the way we did our business from being predominantly or traditional license or box pushers. We really got into solution selling. And today our entire focus is to work with customers and give them the right solution, which helps us win over a lot of other large SIs. The whole market predominantly has changed from what it was two to three years back. You know, today the storage boxes have got far more intelligent, right? With the entire virtualization, private cloud, and the entire virtual desktop environments coming in, storage started playing a very key and very important role in the entire entire scenario. So the the entire storage industry, what it was two to three years back, where it was just about how many TB and what you can mm -hmm. store. Today it's about how intelligent the box is, how innovative the box is, and what it can offer more to the customers. So next three to five years is a huge time, and we really the way technology is going, and now with the entire concept of big data, you know, newer technology, newer concept coming in, trying to give more efficient and more intelligent storage. You have to be flexible, but the whole key, you know, the key growth area I would be is this as to how efficient the storage is, how intelligent the storage is. I really don't know whether how it will shape up, but I guess efficiency is one of the most important things. Hmm. You know, while you do with your storage, than what you were able to do earlier. See, as a partner, you know, it's a huge challenge for partners because with the way the entire technology stack has increased, the way you know storage has become complicated, and you know, while they're getting intelligent, innovative, but they at the same time they're getting really complicated. Hmm. So for a tech, for a partner, one of the most important thing is that he needs to spend on technology. He really needs to spend a lot of time in upgrading skills. In keeping in pace with the new technologies, the new you know new products coming up, and with the amount of vendor in the market, has to really narrow down on which vendors he wants to work with, on what technology, and really scale himself up to the next level. Otherwise, survival will be very tough. Cloud computing, if you ask me, as of today, is a reality, right? It is not a distant dream, or it's not something which. So, a lot of customers who have a lot of storage, a lot of computing, are trying to build their own private clouds, which they have been doing successfully. And they will further go on to, and you know, so storage as a service in cloud is again is a very very real, it's a very near reality. Everyone has to gear up because there will be SMBs, there will be mid enterprises who would want to keep their secondary or not so important data on cheaper storage, which a cloud company can offer. Mm -hmm. And as MIL, we are also looking to really venture out and start up our own cloud, which we can give to our existing customers so while they. You know they're with us on their most expensive storage, or they're with us on the machine critical applications mm -hmm. running on our storage boxes. We can give them for their secondary storage and for their secondary data. We can give them cloud-based storage solution. Right. So for MIL, the entire storage evolution within the company from a hardware storage started with NetApp, right? Mm -hmm. And we, if I look three years back to today, you know, we've done really well with NetApp as to where we were and today where we are, and we've done a lot of investments. And today we see that in the next three years, NetApp as a company has always been an innovative company. Has always been a market leader in most of the technologies that they deliver. They've done the right acquisitions. They've integrated those acquisitions well with their products because of which they're able to even ship out better intelligent boxes.